Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. After the end of this video, if you think this video is not helpful, dislike this video. But if you find this video helpful, like this video and subscribe this channel because we provide quality content. So let's get started. So in this video, I am going to explain how to clear TCS and QT coding cutoff without any coding knowledge. So if you don't know coding, but if you want to clear TCS and QT coding cutoff, then this video is for you. If you will follow this trick, then you can easily clear the coding cutoff. So please note, in this video, I am going to explain this trick in the Python programming language. But if you want to know this trick in the C programming language, then let me tell you, I have already made a video in this C programming language. Then you can watch that video either clicking on this I button or you can find link in the description box. I have explained the same trick in this C programming language. Okay, so first let me tell you, uh, this is the video. Okay, here you can see uh, the all the positive comments. Okay, all the positive responses from the viewers. So here you can see a lot of candidates got interview mail after using this trick. So this trick is in the C programming language. Now I am in this video. I am going to explain this trick in this Python programming language. So let's start the video. So before starting the video let me tell you how this trick works okay so the question is how tcs evaluates your solution so please note tcs don't check your code okay your code will be checked by the uh, by their system so that system don't check your whole code they will check uh, or you can say they will give you marks only on the base only on the basis of how many test cases you have passed so more the test cases you will pass more marks you will get okay so there are two type of test cases what is it what is test case i'll explain in this video don't worry so there are two type of test cases first one is public test case you can watch you can see this test case okay these test cases are visible you can see these test cases second test case is private test case so in this video i'll explain uh, one trick and by using that trick you can pass all the public test cases but please note using this trick you can you can't pass private test cases okay but to clear the thesis coding cutoff you need to pass only public test case that's enough that's more than enough to clear the coding cutoff okay you don't need to score 100 percent marks in the thesis coding okay so now the question is how many test cases you need to pass to clear the tcs and qt coding cutoff so, so generally you need to pass three to five test cases okay but please note you need to perform well in uh, other sections like aptitude reasoning verbal ability like this okay but if you pass uh, three four or five test cases then that's enough to clear the tcs coding cutoff okay now let's start the video so this is a question this is a real tcs coding question okay which were asked in 2000 uh, i think 2017 or 2018 okay so here you can see this question is really difficult okay but you don't need to read this question okay after end of the after end of every question tcs provide some test cases so these are the test cases okay after every code coding question you can you can see you can find this these test cases so let's understand what is the test cases so based on these test cases you will get marks okay so these are the only these are only public test cases you can pass all these public test cases by using the trick but you can't pass can't pass private test cases so but you don't need to pass private test cases to clear the coding cutoff but if you want to score full marks then you need to write full logic okay that logic i'm not going to explain in this video in this video i am going to explain only this trick so uh, everyone can follow this trick if you don't know any coding okay so let's see let's see how this trick works so here i am going to open my compiler so here you can see i have selected python 3 so here in this video i am going to use python 3 language python 3 okay so here so here let me explain what is the test case so first test case is if input is 3 then expected output should be minus 20 and 20 if input is 4 then expected output should be minus 20 and minus 20 if input is 5 then expected output should be 30 and minus 20 if input is 7 then expected output should be 90 and minus 20 so these are the test cases we have to pass okay so 
and please note one more thing here you can see input type is integer type so this is integer input is integer 3 4 5 7 okay so if you we enter 3 then we have to uh, show minus 20 and 20 if we enter 4 then we have to show minus 20 minus 20 if we enter 5 then we have to show 30 and minus 20 if we enter 7 then we have to show 90 and minus 20 okay so these are the test cases we can easily pass so here I'm going to use Python 3 language so in the Python 3 language so first you need to um, put a variable uh, I'm going to just uh, giving a name a let a equal to uh, input this is in, I'm going to take input but please note here a is type of integer here a is type of integer okay this is integer type okay so here I'll write one thing here uh, before input I'll write one thing here int please note in int inside the parenthesis i'll write this input okay what this will do this will convert the your input into integer because we need to convert the inti into integer okay so this is first time after that we will write condition if a is equal to equal to if a is equal to equal to sorry uh yeah yeah if a is equal to equal to 3 then we have to show this okay if a is equal to equal to 3 then what we have to do we need to write colon after that press enter then we have to print what we have to print we have to print we have to print minus 20 and 20 okay minus 20 space 20 we have to print this okay after that enter press backspace here there is another condition if input is 4 then we have to show this okay so here we need to write elif okay elif is a, a command this is else if if this otherwise this if uh, else if uh, input is 4 if a is equal to equal to 4 then we have to write what we have to print we have to print print we have to print let's see what we have to print we have to print minus 20 minus 20 okay minus 20 and minus 20 okay after that again press enter press backspace after that again we have to if condition is 5 if a is equal to equal to 5 elif elif a equal to equal to 5 then we have to print what we have to print we have to print 30 and minus 20 30 and minus 20 30 and minus 20 okay after that last what is the last condition so please note if there is last condition then we don't need to write elif okay if input is 7 then uh, we have to print my, uh, 90 and minus 20 so here you can directly use here you can directly use else okay in last condition you can use else else what we have to print we have to print we have to print 90 and minus 20 we have to print 90 space minus 20 okay yeah we are done now we will run this condition if we will run so here we, we can see so if i am going to enter if i enter 3 okay i am just uh, press enter if I'll press 3 then what is the output is minus 20 and minus 20 output output is correct okay if we press 4 then we should uh, we should print to a minus 20 and minus 20 now I'm going to again run I'll press 4 okay here I'll press 4 now I'm going to press enter output is minus 20 and minus 20 output is correct if I'll press uh, 5 then what should be the output output should be 30 and minus 20 okay again another kind what is the another condition another condition is if we press 7 if we enter 7 then we have to show this 90 minus 20 so i am going to run again here i'll enter i'll write 9 sorry what we have to write we have to 7 we have to write 7 so if i write 7 i'll press enter output is 19 minus 20 so here you can see we have passed all the four test cases so in only nine line of code so nine lines of code we have passed all the four test cases okay so this is very easy if you use python programming language and if you uh, in the in the tcs and qt coding you will get two coding questions okay so this is one coding question we have we are done now let's move to second coding question so next question is uh, so this is a question but we don't need to read this question we have to focus only on test cases so here you can see in this question we can see uh, there are total three test cases first test case is if input is 4 5 6 7 then we have to print 2 if input is 5 4 7 6 then also we have to print 2 else if input is 9 8 3 4 6 9 8 7 6 5 
वन टू थ्री देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट वन ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इजी टू पास ओके नाउ लेट्स पास दिस थ्री टेस्ट केसेस ओके सो हेयर इन दिस कोड आई एम गोइंग टू मोडिफाई सो यू कैन सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो हेयर इफ इनपुट इज फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो हेयर आई एल राइट इफ ए इज फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट टू सो हेयर आई एल राइट ओनली टू ओके आफ्टर दैट अदर कंडीशन इज इफ इनपुट इज फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स इफ इनपुट इज फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स ओके इफ इनपुट इज फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स देन ऑल्सो वी हैव टू प्रिंट टू सो हेयर ऑल्सो वी विल राइट टू ओके एल्स वी नीड टू रिमूव दिस दीज टू लाइन्स बिकॉज देर आर ओनली थ्री कंडीशन थ्री टेस्ट केसेस वन कंडीशन इज फॉर वन टेस्ट केस सो आफ्टर दैट वी इफ इनपुट इज दिस देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट वन ओके सो फॉर द लास्ट कंडीशन यू डोंट नीड टू राइट कंडीशन यू जस्ट यू कैन राइट जस्ट एल्स एल्स वी हैव टू प्रिंट वन ओके हेयर वी नीड वी नीड टू प्रिंट वन सॉरी वन नॉट टू वन ओके सो वी आर डन नाउ आई रन दिस कोड लेट्स सी इज इट वर्किंग और नॉट आई रन दिस सो इफ आई राइट फोर फाइव सेवन सिक्स सेवन ओके सो आई प्रेस एंटर सो हेयर वी कैन सी आउटपुट इज टू येस इज इट्स करेक्ट ओके फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन आउटपुट इज टू करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स सी इफ इनपुट इज फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स देन आउटपुट शुड बी वन ओके इज इट करेक्ट और नॉट सो लेट्स रन अगेन इनपुट इज फाइव फोर सेवन सिक्स ओके आई एल प्रेस एंटर इन आउटपुट इज टू येट्स येस इट्स करेक्ट आफ्टर दैट आई एल रन दिस कंडीशन सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस ओके सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस कॉपी आफ्टर दैट लेट्स रन दिस आफ्टर दैट हेयर लेट्स पेस्ट इट ओके सो लेट्स सी आउटपुट शुड बी वन ओके इफ आउटपुट इज वन देन इट्स करेक्ट सो लेट्स सी आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेस एंटर येस आउटपुट इज वन येस दीज टेस्ट केसेस आर करेक्ट सो वी हैव पास दीज थ्री टेस्ट केसेस सो यू कैन सी दिस दिस मैथड इज वेरी वेरी इजी ओके सो इन द कोडिंग इन द टी सी एस कोडिंग राउंड यू विल यू नीड टू सॉल्व टू कोडिंग क्वेश्चन सो फॉर दो टू कोडिंग क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू पास टोटल थ्री फोर और फाइव टेस्ट केसेस बेस्ड ऑन दी बेस्ड ऑन दी कट ऑफ ओके सो जनरली इफ यू पास थ्री और फोर टेस्ट केसेस देन यू कैन इजिली क्लियर दी कट ऑफ ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल सो ओके सो लेट सी दिस इज अनदर कोड अनदर क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स पास दिस टेस्ट केसेस ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी देर आर ओनली टू टेस्ट केसेस सो लेट लेट्स पास ओके यू डोंट नीड टू रीड दी कोड रीड दी क्वेश्चन यू कैन जस्ट फोकस ऑन द टेस्ट केसेस सो हेयर इफ इनपुट इज सिक्सटीन देन वी हैव टू पास दिस इफ इनपुट इज थर्टीन देन वी हैव टू पास वी हैव टू प्रिंट दिस ओके सो इनपुट इनपुट इज सिक्सटीन इफ इनपुट इज सिक्सटीन लेट्स मोडिफाई दिस इफ इनपुट इज सिक्सटीन इफ इनपुट इज सिक्सटीन देन वॉट वी हैव टू प्रिंट वी हैव टू प्रिंट टू वन एट सेवन देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट टू वन एट सेवन टू वन एट सेवन टू वन एट सेवन After that, that here you can see second condition is last condition. So for for last condition, we don't need to write this conditions. Okay. So for last condition, we can write just else condition. Okay. After that, we have to print sixty four. If input is thirteen, then we have to print sixty four. Input is thirteen, then we have to print sixty four. So here, write sixty four. So here we need to write sixty four. Okay. So I am going to run this. so if i'll press 16 output should be 2187 yes it's correct i'm again going to run if i'll press if i'll uh, enter 13 then output should be 64 if i'll enter 13 output should be 64 yes it's correct so here you can see we can pass these test cases in only few lines okay so you can use python okay because python is easier than c programming language okay so you can uh, use python 3 programming language in the tcs coding coding round so you, so that you can clear the tcs coding cut off okay so uh, if you want uh, one more video one or two more videos to uh, so that i can explain some more examples then please let me know in the comment box i can make some more videos uh, then i can explain some more examples okay so please let me know in the comment box if you want more videos 
another part part 2 or part 3 then please let me know in the comment box yeah so that's it for this video if you have any doubt please feel free to ask in comment box you can join our telegram channel i have provided link in the description box and one more thing if part 2 will be available then you can watch uh, that part 2 in the description box okay you will you will find link of the part 2 in the description box okay yeah subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching this video